Hello, my name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I'm here with Herbie, and we are going to be working on his Leave It while we're walking. Now, what we're going to be doing today is an exercise where I got some items on the floor, and the goal here is that I'm going to be walking around them, and I don't want Herbie to go after them. The reason why we're doing an exercise like this is because Herbie, even though he's done very well, is starting to get distracted by little things like lizards or starting to sniff things on the ground and pick them up. And I wanna make sure that even though an item's on the ground, if I say leave it, it means that Herbie's leaving it alone. Now it's really important to note that leave it is before it enters his mouth. The goal here is that I'm going to say leave it because I don't want Herbie to pick up the item whatsoever. I want him to leave it alone and then continue walking. <laughs> Herbie, let's go. Now we're gonna start with Herbie on the outside of this walk. And the reason why is because we don't want to immediately put him closer to the objects because that'll make this exercise a lot tougher and I want to make sure Herbie is as successful as possible. You can see he's definitely noticed the toys. Uh -uh. But like I said, big thing is that I don't want him to try to go and sniff them. I don't want him to pick them up. Uh, leave it. So you see, if he starts walking towards them, I'm saying leave it, correcting, and then continuing to move. I wanna make sure that I'm not giving him that chance to pick up the item or even think about it. Ah, leave it. Now right there, as you saw, there was some food on the ground that got moved. And as you can see, definitely caught Herbie's attention, but as you can see, I said, leave it. And most importantly, continued moving. Really important that we don't stop the walk, otherwise that'll encourage Herbie to focus on that item. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and change directions. So we're gonna make this a little bit tougher. Ah, leave it. Good job, and you can see Herbie turned his head and kept on moving, which is exactly what I look for when we do an exercise like this. Ah, leave it. Very nice job. You see, he's definitely noticing the toys now, but as you can see, he's continuing to move, which is exactly what we want. We're gonna do one more lap. Good boy, Herbie. All right, now to stop the walk, I'm just going to say his name, take a couple extra steps. So it's gonna be Herbie. And that was a very nice stop right there with a very polite sit. Overall, that was an excellent job from Herbie. As you can see, the toys definitely got his attention. And we're starting with toys in the patio so that way we can warm him up to walking outside with items on the ground, especially with the grass where there's a ton of scent in there. But overall, he did a really nice job. You can see this is definitely a tough exercise for him as he was looking a lot. But as you can see, if he did glance over, I went ahead, told him leave it, corrected him, and continued moving. It's really important that we continue the walk. But overall, really nice job. Let's go.